Each week, Wells Fargo Bank brings us stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. This week, we meet a young pitcher from St. Francis High School who is drawing attention because of his style of play. Freshman Riley Quinn's unique skills are not new to the game of baseball, but what is turning heads is his ability to excel at any sport he takes on. Every day we subconsciously use both our hands. But what if you only have one? Could you tie your own shoes? What about tying your own tie? These tasks seem impossible to do, but for Riley Quinn, this is how he's always known life to be. So when I was born, I think the umbilical cord wrapped around it and somehow it popped off or something happened and I was just born without it. We were shocked. I actually fainted. <laughs> and. Um... But, you know, it, it took us a little while to, to get over the, uh, the idea that this kid only had one hand, but he's overcome it pretty well. Even though Riley doesn't have his left hand, he never feels slighted. Growing up in an athletic family, Riley's mom and dad always encourage him to be the best he can be. They pushed me all the way through. They made me play sports. I didn't really have a choice. I mean, yeah, they kept on pushing me when I thought I needed to give up. We've treated him like he's normal. Well, he is normal. We just tell him, you know, everybody's got something in this world that's not normal. Yours just is out there for everybody to see. Now a freshman at St. Francis High, Riley is a three-sport star playing on the freshman football team, freshman A basketball team, and now the freshman baseball team, excelling in three sports, all requiring the use of your hands. Pitching helps because, I mean, they're like, whoa, like I've never seen that before. Uh, basketball, they definitely take me lightly and then I make a move and they're like, okay, this kid can play. Football, I'm sure that's a pretty big shock playing wide receiver. They probably didn't expect that. First look at it, you're kind of like, okay, you know, how, how is this going to work? But I mean, Riley is, I mean, he's unique. I mean, he, there, there's nothing he cannot do. When watching Riley play any sport, his competitive drive and natural athletic ability trump his disability. It is Riley's unique techniques helping him to compete at any sport wide receiver how were you able to catch the ball uh so i just i'd stick my both of my arms out here and kind of just clamp it together use this as like balance not really grabbing it but more just he's an athlete i mean i, I think you don't even have you don't you look past any anything else and he, he's an athlete he's a competitor he's someone who wants to be out there and and you know and i think the sky's the limit for him I think he can do whatever he wants to do i don't think anything's going to hold him back being a one-handed pitcher, Riley frequently hears comparisons to former major league pitcher Jim Abbott. Yeah, I actually met the guy. It was pretty sweet. I was playing golf in Monterey, and we randomly ran into him. He was playing in a foursome in front of me. I was with my grandparents. Yeah, we exchanged numbers. He sent me, like, letters saying, keep it up, keep the great work up. Riley and Jim Abbott share many of the same experiences. Riley taught himself how to pitch and catch with the same hand by quickly switching over his glove. And just like Jim, Riley also faces a few opponents who try to take advantage of the situation. Jason Orr, who I coach with, and he was mentioning the fact that they had played against Riley during the summer ball. And they're like, oh, we'll bun on him. And he got to every ball. It's amazing. I mean, it, it really is. And you know, now it's the point where it's not even recognizable. Oh, I, I love when they bun on me. I feel like I'm a better pitcher fielding than most other guys. So I love when they bun on me. It's an easy out. <laughs> Riley uses Jim Abbott's inspiring words as fuel pushing himself to strive to be the best. No matter what curveballs life may throw at Riley, he is ready to strike out all doubters who step up to the plate. And you can find Riley pitching on the mound the rest of the season for the Lancers. And when I asked him what his favorite sport was out of the three, he said football. And he actually did catch a touchdown this year, but he was really bummed because he missed the extra point afterwards because he was so excited. <laughs> and it's just, uh, it's really, Amazing the way that he moves his glove from his hand. It's beautifully done. It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing to watch. It's seamless the way he, yeah. he plays any game he takes on. Yeah. 